Hi, I'm Yellow and welcome to The Cure for Normal, the channel inspiring you to look at the world differently. I've just completed a darkness retreat which is two weeks in the pitch black. In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of the space and some practicalities of doing such a retreat and then I'll make another video telling you all the insights and benefits that I gained from being in the dark for all that time. It's New Year's Eve, about 8pm and we've just arrived at the Hermitage Center in Guatemala. They have a dark room here, which is a room that is completely shut off from all light. Yoshi and I have booked it for two weeks. So in about an hour's time, once we finish the preparations, we will be blowing out the candle and having 14 solid days of total darkness. We will be eating, sleeping, going to the toilet, having showers, all without any light whatsoever. It's probably the most challenging retreat we've ever attempted. Yoshi is nervous, I'm quite excited. Here's a little tour. So here's the trapdoor system where they can provide food twice a day. They put it in from the outside and then we open this up and there our food will be and then we can eat the food in the pitch black and it maintains the darkness throughout. Right next door we've got a sink and a shower area and then a very interesting his and hers toilet. The one on the right is for number ones and the one on the left number twos. Bed number one, single bed, and some storage area down here. We'll need to remember where everything is because it's going to be no light at all. Here's bed number two, pretty much some pallets with some foam on the top. And finally, the trap door leading out, that will be closed very shortly. We'll switch the head torches off and finally blow out this single candle and that will be it for two whole weeks, no light whatsoever for 14 days. The room is basic, but very comfortable. It's got fresh air, fan through the whole time, and it's sealed off from the inside and outside from bugs. So you don't have to worry about spiders crawling at you in the pitch black. The room is suitable for one or two people, and the cost for two of us was 65 pounds per night, including two vegan meals per day. That's about £850 in total for two weeks. Apparently two weeks is a long time for your first darkness retreat, but I've done two Vipassana meditation courses before and some other hardcore retreats such as ayahuasca and mushrooms, so I thought two weeks was actually manageable, but still very challenging. If I was on my own, I'd probably do a maximum of 10 days. So what was it actually like in the dark room? First of all, it was very, very dark, like more dark than anything I've experienced before because there isn't even a hint of light at all. You can do this with your eyes wide open and you will never see anything in front of you for the whole time, day or night. The first three days was a constant snooze fest. All I really did was lie in bed, sleep, eat meals, go back to bed, snooze some more, didn't do any meditation, didn't do any yoga. I just gave myself three days just to have complete rest. Plus, I was just getting used to being in the dark. Everything you do in the pitch black takes about 10 times as long. Having a shower takes ages. Even putting toothpaste on your toothbrush is just impossible. You just don't know how much is going on because you can't see it. Eating in the dark is a challenge. You don't really know what you're eating for a start and you just are trying not to spill any of it on your clothes or on the floor because you just won't be able to see it. The retreat is self-led so it's completely up to you how you spend your time. I probably did about three hours of meditation a day, an hour and a half of yoga and the rest of the time was filled with just rest and contemplation. Yoshi and I decided that we wouldn't speak for most of the days so we could really focus on ourselves. Although we were in the same room, we decided that we would stay silent from when we woke up until at least lunchtime, which was about 3 or 4 p.m. Sometimes we would go until the late evening without talking too. 
After that, we would talk about what happened with our days, and it was quite useful to do that because some days we didn't think much happened, but when we started talking to each other, we actually realized there was much more going on in our minds than we thought. After a few days, maybe four or five, your brain starts to produce some DMT, which is the active ingredient in ayahuasca, and it does give you visions. I found that the visions were quite mild and always dark, so no bright lights or bright colors. And generally, the visions I got were my brain trying to work out what was in the space. So sometimes it imagined the space being very large and you could almost see like a very large room with some garden furniture or some exercise machines, sometimes some people walking around, but it was always very faint. Also, it gets quite confusing when you think you can see a room which is quite large and then you start walking within that room because that's what you think you can see and then you bump into things. So you might bump into the wardrobe or the wall. Generally, I didn't have many visions for the daytimes, but when it got to the evening time, maybe I was getting a bit tired, the vision started to kick in at that point. Well, that's it for this video. Now you've got an idea of the space and the actual practicalities of the experience, make sure to check out part two, where I tell you all the incredible insights and life lessons that I learned from being in the dark. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button. I've got new videos coming out every Friday, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon too, so you get the notifications.